To solve a polynomial irrational inequality algebraically, we're going to follow the following steps. Step 1, write the inequality so that 0 is on the right side. So not only do we want to isolate 0 and get 0 on one side, we specifically want it on the right side because we read left to right. If it's a rational inequality, we want to express it as a single quotient or a single fraction. Step two, we're going to solve the equation f of x equals zero. So we're going to set the function equal to zero so that we can solve for the zeros of the function. If it's a rational inequality, we also want to find the excluded values of the domain. Remember those values that would make the denominator zero? Those are also important when we're solving these inequalities. Step three, use the numbers from step two to divide the number line into regions. So we're going to sketch a number line and divide it into regions based on the zeros and the excluded values. Step four, we will complete a sign chart by testing a point in each re region. So we're going to use our number line and those regions that we divided into to make a sign chart. If the inequality from step one, so if the original problem is f of x greater than zero or f of x greater than or equal to zero, the solution will be the positive regions of the number line, which makes sense because if our f of x, if our y values are positive, greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero, it makes sense that we'd be looking for the positive regions of our number line. If the inequality from step one from the original problem is a less than or less than or equal to, the solution will be the negative regions. So that also makes sense since if we want where f of x is less than zero or less than or equal to zero, those are the negative regions. Finally, we want to write the solution in interval notation. So if we have a greater than or a less than, a strict inequality without the equals on them, we know we're going to use a parenthesis So singular, single of parentheses, parenthesis. And then if we have a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to, if we have the equals on there, then we know we're going to use a bracket. And then finally, for the regions that are bounded by excluded values, so in those rational functions, if you have any excluded values of the domain, you're going to use your parentheses here, so use a parenthesis here since we know that the function can never equal those excluded values.